This video is presented by EA Game Changers. Thank you, EA, for providing early access. Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerkey and welcome to a speed build of an eco-friendly family home. Now, this is kind of a townhouse, but the houses aren't attached, so it's not technically a townhouse, so I'm not sure what to call it, but I basically have built two houses side by side on the same lot, and the original premise was that one of the homes is going to be very eco-conscious, uh, very well-kept, well-maintained. They definitely care about keeping things, you know, clean and trying to leave a smaller carbon footprint on this planet. And they're all about recycling and things like that. All about having wonderful plants. <laughs> and the neighbors were going to be the complete opposite where it's like literally the same house on the same property with the same probably I don't know I don't know if it's like a landlord situation like if they rent the house or if it's like they each own their own townhouse um for lack of a better word but they would be the complete opposite totally trashed run down garbage everywhere don't care about the environment at all and just so you could kind of see like that harsh contrast between the two homes and I was gonna try to put them into one build but it just became way too long like one side took me a little over two hours to build and so I decided to save the second side for a second video however I'm not positive if I will end up doing that or if I'll end up just uploading this with one furnished and one unfurnished so let me know what you think in the comments below let me know if you want me to do the other side and fully trash it or if you want me to just leave it as is and you know whoever downloads this can kind of will do whatever they want with the other half of the property so I, this is the first time, well, actually, you know, I always forget to introduce myself. First of all, if you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. I am a self-proclaimed mermaid who is obsessed with The Sims and Animal Crossing, actually, which I play every day over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Simmerkey. And I've recently made the decision to move all of my Sims content back to YouTube where it originally started and keep my live streams to Animal Crossing. Um, I love seahorses, unicorns, rainbows, kittens, and the color pink, a little bit about my aesthetic. Normally, my Builds are super bright and colorful with lots and lots of landscaping, but I wanted to keep this fairly simple and try to do something a little bit out of my comfort zone, which is kind of the goal of uh, all my speed builds going forward. I definitely still love doing family homes, but I have found myself building the same family home over and over and over again with just different colors and such. So I'm trying my hardest to make different shapes. And even though this one is extremely simple, just a nice little box square home, uh, it's still not in the style that I would normally use. And of course, Eco Lifestyle has helped me with that because I am very excited to play with the new items and this is actually also the very first time that I have not reviewed a pack since I started playing. So I do not, if you're here looking for it, like an eco lifestyle review, I unfortunately don't have one. Um, I usually do a build by review. However, by the point that this video is coming out, it had been, I think it's pretty much been like over a month since any, any other game changers have released their content. Um, I could be a little bit off on those timelines, but it's been a while. So there's already been the Sims live stream showing all the objects. We've been lots of videos and uh, I just, I don't know I didn't get super excited to do a build by review because I had seen some of the items already uh, not all of them but some of them and usually the build by is like my first reaction like my first oh my gosh let's check out the pack together and I really didn't have that feeling with this pack so I wanted to just do a build to show off the items and it's not completely base game and eco lifestyle but it is mostly base game and eco lifestyle I did include I believe some items from seasons and some other packs of course but the majority of them are from the new pack which you know of course I wanted to show off the new expansion pack and I don't really have any plans to do any gameplay with this one I actually normally don't do gameplay um, at all, really, but with the last, no, was it University? Actually, yeah, the last two expansion packs, I did do many Let's Plays. Um, with University, we had a really, really short one where we had a college student who uh, was living on campus and found out that they might have a bit of a supernatural past and they found the secret society who turned out to be fairies but then we didn't like continue that story I got kind of bored because I'm definitely more of a builder than a game player and I believe the one before that was island living if I'm not mistaken but we did a couple of let's plays uh quite a few actually with <laughs> island living I had a rags to riches here on youtube and I had a um, mermaid meets pirate love story let's play over on twitch and I ended up like winding inter winding the two stories together. It was kind of cool. So this is going to be the first pack that, um, in a while that I'm not going to 
do gameplay, I don't think, which is kind of weird because I am super excited. I did watch the trailer. I watched the first initial reveal trailer with my live stream and I was super excited, uh, particularly about ladders, of course, which, you know, we're getting in base game and with this game, um, which I did use ladders in this build, of course. <laughs> uh, and also the, um, I was super excited for the crafting stuff, like the candle making, which I use the candle making object in one of these builds and the fizzy drink machine. I didn't use that here, but those were like the most things I was excited about or the things I was most excited about. Oh, and the trash cans, like the dumpsters and stuff. Oh my goodness. I've been wanting a dumpster forever, but there's also some things that I was really missing from this pack. So I don't know if I should spend some time talking about the things that I don't like first. I mean, maybe I will because I'm still kind of building the shell here. Um, but I definitely have been disappointed between tiny living and eco lifestyle, expecting some items that help you build a smaller home. I didn't really feel like any of the packs gave us much in that area. Um, ironically, I feel like Discover University gave us more because they gave us the wall shower. They gave us the mini fridge um, and things like that, which definitely helped you build a smaller space. Um, I had built a one tile bath bathroom using that shower because I was able to layer it over a sink and squeeze a toilet all in literally one tile. I'll try to put a picture here if I remember in editing. Um, but if not, you can go check it out. I have like a few videos on my channel about the one tile bathroom already. And so I was hoping for something like that, like an all in one type bathroom or a composting toilet, which I think we do have composting with this pack, but I don't know how the toilet ties in with it. So again, not being a game player, I'm not really sure how that all goes, but that was, I mean, I wanted the toilet but to look like a composting toilet, like the ones that you literally like pull the bottom out and then take it and dump it, you know, in your composting bin. I didn't get that at all from this pack. Um, and talking about the trash, I really wanted some sort of trash compactor for the inside of the house. I guess there is that big recycling machine that I think is also a trash compactor. I'm not sure exactly how that works either. Sorry, I, you know, like I said, I'm probably not going to gameplay, so I don't know if I'll ever know the answers to these things, but what I really wanted was an under the counter trash compactor, like the ones that we had in Sims 3, the ones that literally slotted into your counter like the dishwasher does and you could put your trash in there. And there's multiple reasons I want that. One, because it's cool. Two, because it takes up less space in the kitchen. And three, that leads to smaller, tinier kitchens and smaller, tinier homes without having to worry about placing the bin somewhere, which I always forget anyways. Um, so I was really hoping to see something like that. I am very happy to see the rainwater collector. That was one thing that I definitely had on my list. And of course, the ladders were on my list. Um, I do also think that this would have been a great pack to throw some sort of bunk bed or loft bed. I know the Sims team has talked about that before, and it's kind of on their radar, but it's not something they really have done yet in any of the packs we expected to see it, like Tiny Living, like Discover University, like eco lifestyle. Um, so I'm hoping that's still not off the table, although I'm pretty sure at this point the compact trash is probably something we'll never see and the compost toilet is probably something we'll never see either. Um, and the other thing that I really, okay, well, there's so many things I wanted, but some of the other things that I wanted were just things to make tiny living easier, you know, besides the bunk bed, the loft bed, loft beds, things like that. Um, I want some sort of like under the stair storage. I would like to have just smaller things in general, like a compact fridge, which is kind of in between a mini fridge and a full size fridge. I was hoping to see um, a hot plate, you know, something you could put and remove on the counters where you can cook without having to have an entire stove, even, you know, a hot plate you can use outdoors. That would have also tied in really well with the candle making because I know when I used to make my own candles, I turned the back of my clothing store into a candle shop and I used a hot burner like a, I don't know what else to call them I think they're called hot plates and it's just like a, a little burner with one or two um I don't know coil things like the things you would see on top of a stove where you could put a pot of water and boil it etc I was hoping to see something like that and you know more like single tile closets I know we have a few of the um dressers but I would like like a floor to ceiling single tile closet like the ones from I think it's get to work like the ones you actually go inside of something like that like floor to ceiling not just like here's a compact dresser you know and I probably could ramble about this for a long time I do have a bigger wish list but I am going to skip that point or that part, I guess, because we are getting into the furnishing now. And I'm so happy we got solar panels. That was definitely on my list as well. I love all the new plants in this pack. They're so cool. Um, I did go ahead and use the worm hotel or whatever they call it. It's like a little thing, a little bug hotel where you can, I don't, actually know exactly what you do with the bugs, but it's like a bug thing. It's a, I don't know, it's an eco-conscious thing. Um, you could use bugs for, I don't know, things. 
I'm not, I'm not where I'm not like super well versed in this stuff, but I do, I do really like it. And I do wish that they had like really gone and pushed it a little bit more, but uh, I am very happy to have what we have. And I did use a bee box from Seasons along with the worm hotel thing or whatever you call it, the bug box. I don't know what it's called. Uh, the recycling machine and the rainwater and the generator up on the roof, which I thought was super cool. And I definitely sectioned off part of it so that you could have a little upstairs outdoor rooftop garden as well. Um, and I am actually really surprised. I didn't think I would like the furniture from what I had seen in screenshots. I'm using some of it here, like the chairs, um, that big, I don't know, cupboard thing in the kitchen. I like the hanging plants. I like the hanging shelves. Uh, I love this one I'm putting under the stairs. The furniture is actually really cool. I thought I wouldn't like it, but I mean, that table's a little weird, but whatever, you know, it's new, it's different. Um, and I'm happy to explore it. That auto and we had already was laundry day, I believe. And that mirror we had already, but I think the rest of the stuff I used was new. Oh, and the stairs I used seasons. Um, I could have used a ladder, but I figured this was more like of a, I don't know, more of like a family home. So I figured the staircase would be better because I don't think there is any way to bring the toddlers up and down the ladder anyway. Um, and I love the windows. I was actually kind of surprised at the windows. I thought I would kind of like them. They are for a very, very specific type of build, um, sort of like modern. They could go a little mid-century modern. It just depends on what you're doing. And I love them. Um, the archway though had like, and some of the doors have these weird frames that kind of stick out, jut out into the room, which I'm not super excited about. It's cool because it's different, but I don't know how much I'll use them because they are kind of a nuisance to work around. And I did end up liking the couch. I'm not a huge fan of the wooden arm uh, frames, the arm rest, which they have been doing in a lot of their couches. I would definitely like something that looks a little bit more homey and cozy and soft. Um, so I'm hoping we get something like that in the future as well, but I do, I like it. I like, I like the items. I'm not in love with them, but it's always fun to have something new. There's certain ones I do really, really like and certain ones that are just cool. Uh, for example, that little console table is great. The little basket underneath, all the decor is amazing. The plants are amazing. The wall decor is awesome. Um, the little fizzy drink tray, I love things like that. I love little drink trays in this game and there's lots of really cool shelving and all sorts of things for plants, like vertical plants and stuff on the wall. I even kind of like the bathroom stuff. At first look, I wasn't super crazy about it. There is no shower, but there is the bathtub and the sink and the toilet. And I do think in certain color swatches, they're kind of cool. I mean, they look like they're made of recycled materials. I guess that's kind of what we were going for. I don't know, but I like it. I like it. I had fun with it. Um, I don't know if it's something I'm going to build with all the time, but you know, it's cool to have some new items in the game. Always, always cool, always refreshing to have some new things to work with. And so with this house, I definitely wanted to keep it very, um, bright. You know, we're using a lot of darker woods, something that I probably wouldn't normally use. I'm using some of the laundry day stuff here. Uh, but I wanted it to still feel like bright and cheerful and like a family lives here. And like, again, they really take good care of their property. They're really conscious about, um, you know, just being, being good to the environment, being, being conscious about what they do. And oh my gosh, one of my favorite items. Oh my gosh, look at this toddler bed, guys. I died at this. I did not expect to see anything like that from the Sims team. Um, that toddler bed is super reminiscent to me of things that we would see in Sims 3. There was a pirate bed and a castle bed and one with a unicorn and just like all these super cute things for the kids. And we didn't get much of that. We, we have a lot of fantasy things, but we didn't get much in terms of fantasy beds and things like that for the kids. So this one I'm obsessed with. I like, I would almost think that was custom content. Look at it. Look at the little pu puppy. Is it a puppy on the pillow and the little mobile hanging off of it and the glass roof? Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm obsessed with this toddler bed. I wish there was a version for the kids that matched it um, with the canopy. There are kids beds, but not with the canopy. And I think that was kind of a missed opportunity, but I'm in love with that bed. Oh my gosh. I, I would, I would almost recommend this pack for that bed and those windows and the plants alone, <laughs> little, little decor in the bed alone. Oh, okay. I'm going to gush about that for a while. Um, so we did go ahead and make a nursery there. It's a nursery and a toddler room. I like to combine them sometimes so that you can age up your child from a baby straight to a toddler and not really have to give them a whole extra room. I do a lot of family let's plays if I do play um, on my own, which I haven't in a while. But what I like to do is just have a family 
pop out those babies and just like keep playing that way. I just really like family storylines. Um, so I thought that would be a very versatile room that you could use. And I wasn't sure what to do with this upstairs hallway space. I already have a few toy areas for the kids on the balcony and in the living room. So I made this more of like a cozy hangout spot where they could maybe sit around, do their homework, chat, do some arts and crafts and things like that. So that's what we did with the hallway space. And now we're working on the master bedroom. This bed was also one that I was kind of about because I I know a lot about DIY and upcycling and recycling and reusing clothes and um, I owned a thrift store for 10 years so this is like right up my alley but I took a little bit of I wouldn't say offense but like it was a little cringe to see some of the things that they did like that comforter looks like it's three different comforters patched together which is okay but it also feels very um almost like, I don't know how to word it without sounding really mean, but it's almost kind of like a distraction from what a DIY comforter would be. You wouldn't literally take three different comforters and like sew them together all haphazardly like that. I mean, you could, but that's not what upcycling um, clothing and fabric is to me. Uh, so I would definitely have liked that to be a little bit more clean. But then again, how are you going to portray that in a game like this? Like, how are you going to portray, hey, this quilt was like thrown together from a few different quilts? I don't know. So just a weird little gripe that I have. I mean, DIY is not necessarily just throwing things together haphazardly like that and making it look like it was literally spliced together, but it's, you know, it's okay. I, I still think it's cool and different from what we've had before, so I'm very happy to have it. And now that we're going to the screenshots, I can show you a little bit better. There's a shot into our backyard. Um, there's a cool, cool little, like, seating area. There's a balcony for the kids with the ladder that comes up to the green roof, which I love. Uh, really cozy living room there. Nice little book nook under the stairs. And the kitchen, we didn't get any new counters or cabinets, so I used stuff that we already had. Um, but I think it came out cute regardless. Uh, there's a little shot into the bathroom, which I think is very almost spa-like. It's really a nice calming bathroom. And of course, our master bedroom with the easel, some paintings on the wall, our child's bedroom with a little writing desk, and the toddler room, which is my favorite. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'm Again, I'm sorry I didn't do like a full build by review, but I am going to be using these items throughout the next couple of builds to just kind of showcase them. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next video. Don't forget to follow me over on Twitch if you want to come hang out and play Animal Crossing. And I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye! Wait guys, before you go anywhere, don't forget to click over here to watch new videos and click on my face when I disappear to subscribe.